Hi, welcome back. This is the sixth chapter in the Spring Boot tutorial series. So far in this tutorial series, we have achieved everything that we have initially planned. We have configured our server. We have created our Android application to create new employees through a form. Also list all these employees in a list view. In this chapter, we will add some final touches and, the main, and improve the application and then finalize this project. Currently, it is not possible to load the employee creation form from the employee list view. So we need to fix that. We also need to add option to go back to the employee list view from the employee creation form. So we'll be doing that kind of final touches and bug fixes, and then we will finalize this project. So without further ado, let's get started. So let me open the Android Studio, and uh, this is where we left off in last, chap last chapter. We have created the employee list activity and uh, we also have a form uh, for creating new employees but uh, it is not uh, reachable right now so we will make our application like more usable and uh, then we will finish it okay so uh, the first thing that we are going to do is to add a fab button so fab button is the kind of like the plus button you usually see in your application that will open usually a form to create new elements so that is exactly what we want here right like if we add a plus button here uh, that can be used to open the form where we can create new employees that we have learned in the chapter 4 so so let us do that first uh, uh, I'm going to open the activity em employee list dot XML which is the design uh, which is where we design the list view activity so here what we need right now is an FAB button so uh, if you search for FAB floating action button you will find it like here com dot google dot material design it is a component from the material design specification so here we will give it as like a wrap content wrap content, uh, content as uh, width and height then we need to somehow make it like aligned so that it will appear in the bottom right corner like this like we want it in the bottom right corner right so uh, in the constraint layout you can actually do that using the uh, either you can like place it like this manually but uh, it is not the right way uh, or scalable way so the first way is to set like this so we need to make sure that it stick to the bottom of this view so uh, bottom to bottom of constraint bottom to bottom of parent so it will come to the bottom then it should go into the right so constraint right to the right of parent so like that sorry uh, sorry uh, constraint uh, end to the end of parent so it will go into the stream and we don't want it in the exact corner we want to have some margin so let us set the margin to maybe 20 db so it will stay a bit away from the corner and of course we need to uh, access this from the code so we need to add an id so i will add it like employee list dot uh, list underscore fab so we can access it like that then we need a plus button right like uh, to denote that this is for adding something new so here we need to specify the src uh, section and here we need to add an icon so uh, the easiest way is uh, if you add at android and, uh, colon then you will get a set of predefined icons that are all already available so if you search for add you will find i see input add and i see menu add is here menu add is like a plus button with a circle around it it doesn't look good so let us use i see input add and it looks nice so that will be our fab button and when we press on that we will open the form where we can create the employee activity uh emblo sorry employee uh, new employees so let us go into the code by clicking here and here we have specified the recycle view previously here we also now have to define our fab button so we will add like a floating action button floating action button equals find view by id r dot id dot employee list fab which is our sorry employee list fab which is our fab button and when that button is pressed so we will add an on click listener we need to open the other activity which is the main activity so it is main activity is named main activity because it is the default one that was generated when we created our project so it is time that we 
uh, change it. So here, I mean, we need to rename it. So instead of main activity, uh, we can name it like uh, a employee form. So uh, you can right click here and uh, the uh, and uh, I'm checking for a rename option. So the, uh, you can actually go into edit and uh, is there a rename option? No. So the easiest way is shift and F6. If you press on shift and F6, this dialog will open. I'm not sure how to exactly access it from the menu. I always use the shortcuts. So uh, shift and F6 will open this rename dialog and here you can actually rename it. So I will use a name like uh, employee form and uh, press on enter or the refactor button and you can see that it has been changed its name. Okay, so far so good. Uh, we have the employee form now. So when the FAB button is clicked, we need to have the employee form opened. So uh, in order to open new activity, we use the indent just like we do usually. So indent indent equals new indent. And here we have to specify uh, the class. So uh, I am going to name it as employee form dot class this yeah and then we need to start the activity so we will just call start activity and we will pass the indent and it will start the new activity so that should uh, solve our problem of loading the employee form let us try this let us run the program and let me click on the plus button and it is loading the form and now the problem is like uh, the header is wrong and we need to have a back button right like we need a back button here so that uh, uh, we can go back like clicking on this will go back into the screen but that is not enough we need a back button for navigation so let us add that next so the easiest way out there to enable the back button so uh, so that when it is pressed it will load the previous activity is through the xml file you can specify this option in the manifest.xml file so here what you need to do is to specify a parrot activity so employee form is this activity that you know right like we just renamed it so here you can specify parent activity name and here you can specify that yeah this has a parent activity and that is the employee list activity because it makes sense because we are loading this that view from this employee list activity so we will specify that and then if we run the program by adding just that one line of code you will see that the back button is there so if you click on that it will load the list view so we have added the navigation clicking on this will load the form and clicking back will load the uh, like load the uh, list properly okay so far so good and now we need to change the titles like for these both activities the title is not correct it is just spring client so we need to change that so for employee form let us uh, head up. so let us check for that label yeah so here we need to give the label for these activities so when you specify the label that will be used as the header for this activity so for the employee form let us use a header a name uh, called uh, create new employee okay that way is going to be our label and for the employee list activity let us use a label maybe like uh, employee list like this so employee list okay now let us restart our application and see if that is properly applied and you can see that employee list is given for this employee list activity and for the form create new employee is available so we have added that and another enhancement i can think of here is that there is no separator between these list items right like uh, th this is all looking good and all but there is no separator we don't know when or where uh, the uh, uh, list row is ending so we need to add a separator so in order to add a separator we can actually go into the list employee item where we specify the design for every uh, for every employee row in the list view so here uh, what we need is a view so here we need a view and uh, in the view we will specify the width as match parent 
height we only need a very thin line so we will set it to like 0.5 uh, dp then in the background we need to set a color so for the background i will set like uh, maybe c c c which is kind of a gray color it is not white but it is uh, close to white so maybe a little bit more darker so c2 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 yeah it looks good then here we need to specify like where it should uh, yeah it should be positioned so here we need to have it below the location right or uh, yeah we need to have it below the location section so we can refer it or set it uh, based on the location thing uh, location text view so top to bottom of indicator and here you can see that it added a line here so the only problem right now here is that it is very close to the location i mean we need to have that proper padding and it should it be just below the location but it should be uh, 20 dp away from the location so in order to fix that the easiest way is like adding this padding to the uh, to the location here so as you can see the location will extend a little bit with the padding and you can see that the separator is now well away from the uh, from the location section okay now let us try running our program uh, rerunning our program and it should add the yeah as you can see uh, the uh, separators are properly added and the list view is working okay so our project is almost complete uh, we have improved the look and feel and uh, uh, currently we can create new employees and uh, it can, they will be listed here in this employee list and uh, all our goals for this project is set uh, if you guys have any suggestion for like improvement of this app and uh, please let me know uh, we will work on it uh, if uh, people are interested and and let us uh, for the last time let us uh, check this app uh, if we we have not tested the created new employee page uh, in this uh, chapter right so i will create an employee let's say we have uh, a, a employee called ajay and uh, he is from csc branch and uh, location let's say building 99 and let's say let's just save the employee the save is successful and if we go back to the previous screen we can see that ajay is added here so our project is at its end and uh, uh, the plan so we have learned how to like uh, send data to the server uh, for, through post operation so that we can submit data to the server we have also learned how to make get requests and uh, other enhancement for for this project i can think of is like uh, adding a delete option for these employees it will be very easy like uh, i suggest you guys try it on your own uh, simply create an api in your server for accepting delete request it can be a get request it doesn't have to be a post request uh, better will be like a post request because you need to post like which customer Need, sorry which employee need to be deleted so yeah uh, post request makes more sense there so you can post an employee to be deleted then in the server you can like uh, do the deletion and return the true or false based on whether the deletion was successful then you can automatically refresh uh, the list when it is deleted in the on response function for that api so you can actually do anything like uh, with uh, just a post and get request uh you can actually write an entire application uh, uh through like, write an entire application and get data and post data through the api so thank you very much for uh following me along in this journey and uh, i will see you on the next video so until then bye